Hello. Let me give you Korean natural farming in a nutshell. Forgive me, I'm a nut farmer and that's a nut joke. But really, Korean natural farming, if you aren't one of the initiated or don't know about it, is kind of ambiguous. So let me break it down. It is a attempt, one elegant method to join or work with nature to grow food. There are many ways to do this. Um, nature grows food effectively and there are things around the world that people use. But Korean natural farming is an elegant method to grow food using the process that nature already uses. That was beautiful. That was a hawk saying hello. So what we do is we go up into the forest and we look for an indigenous biology bloom or mycelium that we can see with our naked eye. We take a collection, actually we take several collections, um, samplings of that indigenous biology. We bring it down and we bring it to our farm or the place where we grow food. Here, when we apply it to the soil, it changes things. If you have a depleted or a soil that was maybe in some other things like um, construction or whatnot, the soil will be depleted of biology. By introducing indigenous biology, we boost the entire ecosystem um, that is happening under the soil. So, um, One of my mentors or people I listen to, uh, Lane Ingham, um, talks of it as the soil food web. What good is that? Well, as soon as you apply a large amount of biology to your leaves and your trunk or whatever it is you're growing and your soil, if it's indigenous, and even if it's not, but the biology will get established where you apply it. Well, with this indigenous biology, it will not only get established, but it will perpetuate year after year. That's the idea anyway. And I found it to be true. Once you apply this biology to the soil, it takes root, so to speak. It goes down, and now you have a layer of biology working that um, is spreading out. That biology now is food for the next level of the food chain. Your nematodes and your microarthropods interact with that biology in a special way. So now we have our soil surface, biology here, and we have earthworms now also involved. They're moving up to eat this biology, moving down to live and breed. This now is increasing our water retention and our aeration of our soil, um, the porosity. As those earthworms move up and down, our water retention increases. Well, that can have drought-resistant um, effect on our plants. Also, the biology itself, just like us, is 70% moisture. And when, if there is a drought event, those biologies can die off and their body's release is actually a, a buffer to your drought. So why does biology help grow food? Well, there's a lot on that. I'm not going to get all into that. But natural farming, why is natural farming a good and effective tool? Well, as you apply it on your leaves and on your ground, this biology gets established. And with a tree or some of your vegetables, whatever it is you're growing, those fungal biologies that you've collected um, will, get, will, will create a relationship at the root tip. We all know that plants photosynthesize. They produce sugars and use it to make their structure and their fruit. Well, they take some of their excess sugars or some of the sugars they set aside for the purpose of creating root relationships at their root tips. So they will come down and say, here, fungi, um, I have some sugar. I'll trade you for boron or zinc or iron. And at the root tip, through a uh, chemical, a biochemical communication, they will exchange photosynthesized sugars or carbs for minor minerals, which we all know plants need. That's one small aspect of why growing with biology is great for making really healthy um, plants and vegetables. Another aspect is as you've increased your water retention, your rain comes down, biology on it or in their bodies and in their interactions are involved with something called enzymes. Enzyme is an organic molecule that facilitates a chemical change. What that means is 
as your rainwater comes down, and now it's comes uh, is more of it's retained in the soil because your earthworms are moving up and down and your soil has become aggregate, your rainwater, which is N2, non-plant available nitrogen, because of the biology present, will have an easier time becoming ammonia or plant available nitrogen because the enzymes on the biology will help to lessen the energy to convert N2 into N3, plant available fertilizer. All of a sudden, your plant's healthy because it's getting its miners. Your, your soil has better water retention and drought resistance for your plants. And your um, rainwater is working for you more and more in nitrogen. In addition to this being a really effective way to make really healthy, um, productive plants, it's also really cost effective. Natural farming is inexpensive. It's doable on a large scale or a small scale for very low cost. And um, I'd like to share it with you. So check out more of the what is natural farming on the page. Thanks so much.